guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to explore the Namibian Museum. This one that they made. Guys, I'm so excited. I'll be taking a few videos and stuff. And pictures, obviously. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, guys. I'm high up. <laughs> it's my first time here and I'm excited. and then something that just like it kind of like like struck my eye i was like wow is this here like ladies we got one female there these are early resistance leaders guys it's very important to educate yourself about your country about the history of this country we need to know okay so we see her name is Miriam Zaharo Rodi. She, she was a chief, guys. She was a chief. Wow. Women. Okay. But yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And then we got men on that side and on this side as well. That's pretty cool as well. And the pictures, guys. The pictures are beautiful. Just look at this. It's like 3D pictures. The people on the other side, so I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna go check. Guys, <clears throat> look at this here. Like, I love these. Oh my gosh. The women back then had style. So, this says headband made out of glass beads. Tortoise shells, compact, decorated with glass beads, leather. A prom decorated with glass beads guys this is so beautiful this is so beautiful and guys the ladies back then had fashion okay we also still have fashion but this is pretty cool so this is also some bags decorated as well Here as well beautiful wow guys <laughs> look at this look at this this is so beautiful, so creative, so creative. things that cannot be forgiven but honestly for a Christian as a Christian I just believe that you need to forgive in order to be forgiven and you just need to pray for your enemies love them show them love and that way God's love can be shown to them so what he's saying is kind of mean stuff but I'm just gonna ignore it and I'm just gonna walk like like I don't know what's happening So 
beads are so beautiful um you know how much i love african beads and how i'm just like all for africa and this is like some of the art so pretty this as well super beautiful so these are some of the um art this is very beautiful these are some of the pots please do not touch i think this is for the people like the kavango people the canoe rafts this is really beautiful guys and I, I never knew we had like canoes and stuff hmm this is pretty cool <laughs> and these are some of the beautiful stones one this part is pretty deep like it's so deep <sighs> I'm not even sure if I if I should show you guys what's happening here but <sighs> guys this is I don't know why people would do this to people like <sighs> guys we are so blessed that we're not in that era we're so blessed that we're not in the era of physical annihilation of black people and that we are in the era of you know more like verbally okay although verbal hurts more than physical but guys what I'm seeing now is people beheaded I mean some of these images are very graphic but this is what white people did to Africans and this is sad this is sad I mean now I get why that guy was going on the way he was and guys this is sad <laughs> wow These are some of the main leaders that would stand up for their people. He's the one that uh, I think used to be on our money, Captain Hendrik Redboy. Guys, these people sacrificed a lot for us and we really just need to be appreciative and not, not like say, oh yes it happened. but to say like yes it happened and we're grateful that we don't have to go through it but we don't have to keep the grudge we don't have to keep the anger we don't have to bear it to carry the or bear the, that weight because it's been taken away but to say that thank you to our fathers thank you to our sisters our mothers our grandmothers, great grandmothers who stood up and fought for us to have a free Namibia, to have a free life today, to have a free way of living, to be free today, to be able to study what you want, to be able to drink water, eat food, 
just grateful to have roofs over your head. Thank you. film this because I feel it's important and it's the role of the church and how the church is so important um, was important still is important back in the days and how it was kind of like a, a community that brought both colors together so that's pretty cool So this is like, um, you know, when people talk about, no, he went into exile or no, I went into exile. That just means going to different parts of, of the African continent. So countries that are nearby or even far. So you can see here's Namibia there. People are like going to Angola, Zambia, Zim, Botswana, SA, Swaziland. Lesotho, Mozambique, I guess all the red dots. So literally Namibians are all over the world. So it's pretty cool. And So if you're a northerner like I am, you would know Ongulumbashe is a place in the north and that's where they had their first like kind of like war against white people. Um, yeah. So when we learned about this in history, uh, it was said to be one of the biggest like kind of like wars in the northern part of Namibia. And usually the white people wouldn't go to that side. I think it's because that time the the Wambu population was very strong, still is, but there were a lot as well. Wow, so I just entered a prison cell. So this is the cell from outside. And this is when you enter it. When you enter it like so, so <clears throat> this is how small the prison cells apparently on Robin Island. That's Robin Island. So this is how small they are, and it's quite small if you're in here. This is already the door. This is how small it is. This is how the cells back then, or how it looks like on Robin Island, isolation, I guess. 
and these are the clothes they would wear like thin stuff t-shirts and I mean Northern Island is by the sea so it's pro probably very cold I don't know but it's probably cold and this as well and this would be belts and stuff they would maybe take with and that's the prison cup spoon and plate end of this video this is video number one or vlog like part one of of the vlog um, mainly because if I had put the vlog together it would be really really long <laughs> and there's so many things that I want to share and show you guys so that's why I didn't want to make one big vlog because I know that people get really tired watching like a 15 minute vlog and this is a 15 minute vlog so if you if you reach this end and you're wondering oh my gosh like how how does this end watch the second vlog that's gonna come out soon um, on that vlog I also give my final opinion or my final learning outcome of this museum what I've seen my experience the things that touched my heart Yes, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, just keep on supporting. Please like, do subscribe, and I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye.